In this episode, we're gonna learn how to make the cactus cooler bomb shot. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another edition of Making You a Bartending Pro. I'm Jason. So on this channel, you'll find everything you need to become and succeed as a working bartender. In this episode, we're gonna do the cactus cooler recipe. Now this is a bomb shot, meaning we're gonna have a pint glass, which we're gonna put Red Bull or whatever energy drink you'd like. And then we're gonna have a shot glass, which we're gonna put Mandarin Orange. And there's a couple versions of this drink, right? So I've seen, sometimes it's made with peach schnapps, which as far as I can tell is the original recipe. That's the one that I've always made. But sometimes you'll see this with just triple sec. So we're gonna make them both, we're gonna try them both. And then I have a little bit of orange juice here because sometimes these will be made with a splash of orange juice along with the Red Bull in the pint glass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these both, one with peach schnapps, one with triple sec. Then we're gonna try them and then we're gonna add a little splash of orange juice to both of them and see which ones we like most. As far as I can tell the original recipe, you're probably pretty safe if you do Red Bull, Mandarin orange, orange flavored vodka, whatever, and peach schnapps. Taking our, starting off with our pint glass, just a basic pint glass or a tall Collins glass if the shot glass fits inside would work as well. And then we're gonna open a Red Bull, do, I don't know, three or four ounces of our Red Bull here. Put enough in here that I can try this a couple of sips. Then we're gonna take our shot glasses. So I'm gonna do about half and half of the orange vodka, our mandarin vodka, and then the liqueur on top. So it doesn't matter what order you put these in in the glass because we're gonna end up dropping these in this thing anyway. So we're gonna do about one ounce. So half of this guy, and then about half of this guy. And then, in this one we're gonna put peach schnapps. All right. In this one, we're going to put triple sec. And then you can take this and serve this to your customer. We'll just finish this off, right? Most people like to get a good little chug of the Red Bull or the beer or whatever you're putting into the pint glass. So if you can give them a little bit more, then they'll be stoked on that. And we take these and we will drop them in. So I kind of tend to hold these on the side a little bit so you can see how I'm holding it on there so it doesn't splash too bad. And then just drop that in there. Now I'm not gonna chug the whole thing because I wanna try them with a little splash of orange juice. So here's the peach schnapps. Sweet, tastes like, like sweet tarts candies. And then this is the triple sec one. Can definitely taste the orange, like uh, the triple sec coming through that a lot. Just on that test, I'm gonna say I definitely prefer the one that has peach schnapps in it over the one that has triple sec. Now let's try it with a little splash of orange juice in it because this is common in some of the versions of this recipe. And this is all just mixed together in there so it doesn't really matter how you pour it in. If you're gonna make this with orange juice, you would put it in with the Red Bull before you dropped it into the bomb shot for your friends or your customers. Give this just a little shake so we can try it. I like that with orange juice. That one's a lot better with the orange juice, but it's still, triple sec is really coming through. But I'm still gonna say that I like the peach schnapps version better. And I think I like it with the orange juice. I'm gonna recommend that you make this with Red Bull, a little splash of orange juice in the pint glass, then do mandarin, whatever, orange flavored vodka, and peach schnapps. So that is the cactus cooler. If you have a version that you prefer, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or if you're a working bartender and you find one is more common or more popular at your bar, then please feel free to share your inside knowledge. All right, I think that's it for this one. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm Jason. This has been making you a bartending pro. I'll see you on the next episode soon. Take care, cheers.